Hello, Admiral Thrawn here once again for yet another uh, Third Age Total War tournament battle. This is game two of the uh, second round of the series of uh, the Battle of Pandashef versus <coughs> the World Stage. Uh, we have here Irock Badly, aka the World Stage, with the commanding his army of dwarves. And uh, we have Pandashef here commanding his elves. So this should be an interesting battle and all. Um, I would say elves generally counter dwarves pretty heavily, but right now it looks like that might not be the case. The elves only brought two units of cav, uh, North Athena warriors and some uh, Elder and Lake cav, whereas the dwarves brought, looks like, one, two, three, four units of Dale cav. Now, their cav isn't very good. Like, it, in uh, Moss, Massive Overhaul submod, they are given a lot of really good cav, or, or some really good cav, whereas here in um, the original 3.1 vanilla, they basically have very little. But let's, look, let's see how things turn out. So the Dwarven have infantry is charging the elves, and the elves have actually decided to give, get, get, to give battle here. They, they've um, they basically just lined up their infantry, and they're going to fight it out one on one. Which, I mean, that's a valid, that's a valid tactic, but... Um, <clears throat> If I were the elves, I personally would have just sort of scattered my forces and basically tried to micromanage my archers. But that's really hard, it's really risky, so yeah. But <clears throat> I think he was counting on having the cavalry advantage here. So he's pulling back his uh, cavalry and all that. And he's probably going to start focusing his archer fire onto the dwarven cav. And it looks like the dwarves are still chasing the cav, actually. Which, um... Oh, he's turning around. Alright. So let's see how this turns out. <clears throat> North Eno Cav versus Gale Cav. This will be interesting. Um, the North Eno Cav seem to be taking some pretty heavy losses here. <clears throat> but I think that they are better than the Dale Cav, just like in, in general. He's, he's, he's also moving in his Elder and Lake Spearmen to help out with the fight there. And he's moving his Linden Long Spears that way, that's smart. Okay, so the Dwarf front line is getting engaged. So I'm saying now, like, so the Dwarves have brought along a couple archers. What these? Oh, these are stakes here. Yeah, the Dwarves set up, the dwarves set up some, some stakes, assuming the Elves would send their heavy calf. So I'd say now the Elves' job is this. If they can move their archers around the flank and start shooting the Dwarves from the rear, then they can win this battle pretty easily. But they need to be able to, they need to, be able to pull it off. So the North, you know, Cavalry is just taking some really heavy losses here. So, yeah, this could be really bad for the elves. Um, in fact, yeah, I, I would say that right now this is actually looking really bad for the elves. He does have some Linden Long Spears back here, which are really good, really good, really good cab dancers. But, I mean, really though, this is looking problematic for them. Plus, he should really start focusing his archer fire onto the, um, onto the Dwarven Cav. Um, and yeah, look, looks like there's a rear charge coming in here from the, from Dale. They're gonna smack those guys right there, and boom. So yeah, the other, the other my Lancers, they're in, looking in really bad shape right now. I mean, really all, all the Elven, the Elven Cav is. Okay, and he's gonna go for a rear charge on these Boquin die. He's got to he's got to turn around his archers right now. He's he's really got to turn around his archers and start shooting the ca shooting the calf. And I think if he didn't, I don't think he sees it. So yeah, this here is just gonna slaughter his uh, archers. I think this will be decisive. Um, he actually is actually going for these guys, which is probably smart. But yeah, so he's moving his his Linden long spears to reinforce there. But I mean, yeah, he just took <clears throat> he just took a ton of casualties from that, <clears throat> and like the the, the Boquin day even worse. Even though they weren't hit that bad, they they just took massive le massive losses. Believe it or not, the Elven Cab is actually still existing. Well, let's see how let's see how it turns out. So he's he's engaging the Linden Long Spears, which is probably not the smartest of ideas, but we'll see. Um, so the long spears there, I mean, they're gonna try and engage the the calf, and he's going for another for another rear charge. 
Yeah, I think that right right now the biggest problem High Elves have is they're not micromanaging their archers very well. They're, I think they're so they're ignoring them, assuming that they'll just keep shooting. But what that means is that um, they're leaving themselves wide open to cavalry charges. So yeah, he's just he's just mowing through the uh, the, the, the archers there. I think I think that's what's what's going to prove decisive. And so. The elves are actually doing pretty well in the cav fight, despite the fact that they were outnumbered so heavily. But um, it's going—I don't, I don't think it's going to be enough. I, th I think that right now this is the dwarves' game to lose, and well, it's not good. Connection problems. I'm going to stop recording and then start recording again when they uh, desist.